People, this is Talib Kweli, your host for People's Party. It's the world's best podcast. We are live from the Blue Note. We are still live from the Blue Note. We showcase the best of New York City on the podcast, on the stage. And thank you for everybody who's been supporting us. We've been having an amazing time. And we're going to continue on. Today's guest is a dream come true because it completes the trifecta. This group is one of the groups that inspired People's Party. We wanted to be able to give people their flowers while they're living. This guest is an MC's MC. He's one of your favorite rappers, favorite rappers. He stays in beast mode on the mic. A Yonkers native, a member of the Locks, founder of D-Block Records. This man is the heartbeat, nay, the heart and soul of the Locks, in my opinion. Even with all his mainstream success, he's never lost his edge. He's always stayed true to his roots. You know that when you talk to his bandmates, who we had both of them on the show. As I said, Raw Side Hip Hop called him one of the most underrated rappers the last two decades. I agree with this. But then Locks, he's given us classics like Money, Power, Respect, We Are the Streets, Filthy America, in which they told us which stupid questions to avoid, which is very important for you journalists out there. It's beautiful, living off experience. He's given us a bunch of music through the D-Block label as a solo artist, Walk With Me, After Taxes, Silverback Gorilla, Life on D-Block, Donnie D, Silverback Gorilla 2, The Woo Block, with Ghostface Killer. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up. Fresh, from tearing down the Grammys, we got Donnie, the silverback gorilla, yeah. Sheik Luch in the break. Yeah. 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 Peace, peace, King. Peace. What's up, y'all? Peace, finally, peace, finally peace. Finally here. Finally here. What's happening with you, bro? It's uh, been years in the making. Yeah. Have you? I've been yeah. trying to catch you in L.A. Yeah. Then they always tell me I got to leave, a flight to catch and all that, but no, right. I'm here. I'm glad you're in New York with it. Everything happens the way it's supposed to happen. Everything that it's is meant to be yeah. uh, will be. Yep. And this will be. Uh, yeah. Thank you for doing the show. No, that, no, come on, I'm with you, bro. Thank you, thank I've you. I've been with you, man. Yeah. We done partied, and, and I've been with you while you DJed That's several right. places. That's What's right. the bowling alley over there in Brooklyn? Brooklyn Bowl. Come on now. You came through. Uh, me and Ghostface done rock several stages with you and That's all right. kind of shit. That's You're drinking right. your, uh, what was it, whiskey? Come on now. <laughs> like, dog, like, dog. <laughs> like, yeah, <I'm> really. <laughs> yes, come on, I'm on, I'm on point. Yeah. So shout out to Ghost, who just left here. Well, you know, I toured with Ghost, and he said that me and my crew drink like cowboys and dog, bank robbers. Dog, facts. <laughs> facts. <laughs> no doubt. And um, when I was on that tour with him, you jumped on that project with us, 9.5. Absolutely. Thank you. That's a classic Absolutely. verse. Absolutely. No doubt. Thank no you. Doubt. And, and the video, we did the video, and yep. um, uh, it's beautiful. You don't do that many interviews. Nah, not really. I barely hang out. Yeah, I barely, yeah. I don't hang out as much as my partners. Uh, mm -hmm. they'll, 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 they'll go to the Grammy after parties and all kind of stuff. I'm going back to the room. I'm old. I be, I be feeling like, yo, man, I can't wait to get out of here. <laughs> not, not here, not here. No, nah, I feel like, you, I feel yeah, you. Yeah, but like, I be like, yo, dog, you ever be in like a, a I'll go get the bag, but mm -hmm. after that, I'll be like, man, I want to get back to this hotel. Right. And go to, <laughs> go to sleep. You've seen a lot. I asked, <laughs> like, yo, I asked Dallas, I said, one question. I said, I got Luch coming. yeah, yeah. Yeah, one question you could ask Luch, what would it be? He said, yeah, ask him why he always leave. I'll be leaving. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be out, now, now, you know, I'll be, I right. can't wait to get out of there. Not that I can't wait to mingle and, and probably make other connects and all that, but mm -hmm. man, I'll be like, man, I know it's a lot of party talk. Mm -hmm. You know, I know it's a lot of, yo, I got you, don't worry about it. I'll be like, dog, I'm... You're not with all that? Nah. Well, because you don't do a lot of interviews, we get to know you through your music. Yeah. So if anybody wants to do the deep dive on you, they got to listen to the bars. Absolutely, man. Um, in the bars, you say, Mama struggle for me, Papa bubble for me. Absolutely. Um, and On the Road yeah. Again, which is a great record. Oh, yeah. Underrated record. Yeah, yeah. Um, how did your family get to the sixth borough on his Yonkers? Well, you know, my, um, my mom's straight Jamaican, mm -hmm. came from Kingston, all that. I'm born here, Yankee. Mm -hmm. uh, my dad, yeah, yeah, we're uh, in, in Yonkers, New York. Um, my pops. From here, you know, we, I think he, he left around like nine, mm -hmm. eight years old in my life or whatever. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, star getting high or whatever. So not that close with him and all mm -hmm. that, but like singly raised by my mom and um, yeah, rest in peace and uh, God, yeah, peace. absolutely. Yes, indeed. Passed from cancer, fuck cancer and all that shit. Yeah, fuck cancer. That's right. That's Where's right. Gone? Yep. And now we were talking to Ghost and to Jada about yeah. Yonkers being a hotbed for racial tension in the 80s. A lot of people don't know mm. that the Yonkers school system wasn't integrated until 1988. Oh, yeah, I know that. Y'all yeah. were a little late. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, absolutely. I went to Gorton High School. 
I tried football. Oh, okay. Didn't work. It messed my hip up. I had to put like a pins in my hip. People think I'm trying to be cool, but my hip hurt when it rains and all that. You know what I mean? So it's crazy. I remember I met y'all when y'all was early, 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 or maybe like bad boy days right. in Los Angeles. Okay. I was on Raucous. I remember sitting yeah. there. I'm like, like, yo, that's the locks. I'm like, it's so hard. Like, yeah. them niggas is, is running the streets. They don't know. That's, they definitely don't know what the fuck I am. That's how we felt about y'all, man. And that's y'all. You y'all came up to me, dude. I can see and approached me like what that. What we say? We fuck with y'all shit. Lax, dog. Come on, and man. I learned a lesson Lax, that day. Lax, dog, man. Come on, man. Yeah, I learned that day to Absolutely. not to not let the industry separate because I had the industry having me think that because y'all are on a major label, or right. y'all do. I, I, right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's how they were trying to separate us. Yeah, but that's not our bringings. That's not our. That's mm-hmm. not how we grew up. Like we we love you guys. We love like MOP to right now is one of my favorite groups. You know, mm-hmm. of course the clan. Mm-hmm. But you know, like, uh, you know, so that's where we from. No doubt, mob style and and no doubt, and all these kind of like, you know what I mean. That probably is not on whoever's list, but they on my list. Damn. Yeah, y'all know the streets, yeah. and y'all know hip hop like equal levels. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like y'all know, y'all know, know. Yeah. Lyricists and yeah. producers. Mm-hmm. Y'all work with Large Professor yeah, early yeah, in yeah, your Large career, Pro. right no before doubt. all of this, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tell me about that. Large Pro is this, uh, uh, you know. Large Pro is kind of like a like a not all the way like a primo, but he will come to you with the sample of it and like mm-hmm. and an idea. You may be there for a bunch of hours, like while he's trying to get it together, but mm-hmm. like you know that's how all greatness works. Like that's you know, right. yeah. And then he'll mold it into the track what you like, and then tell you now nah, I'm gonna fix this and I'm gonna tell me how you feel about this later. Like and then until you say it's good, primo does the same thing. You know, you got this record called the family. Um, you yeah. said y'all use the word loosely when y'all say oh, the word, word family. Yeah. Um, a great bar. Family yeah. might argue, but family won't show it. Word. This encapsulates what people love about the locks. Yeah. I went in on that record, too. That joint was... Word. The record. Styles and was like, yo, man, I ain't know he was going to go that way with it. Like, <laughs> <laughs> like yo, I went all the way deep on like, that family. Uh, and, and like you say, it goes back to... Uh, like, with the locks, man, we... Of course we argue. They my brothers. I just left kissing them. We ain't arguing them, mm-hmm. but like, we talk about regular stuff. But it's not for anybody else to know or hear about. It's just mm-hmm. us. Like, you supposed to tell me backstage... Tell it like, yo, nah, Luch, fuck that. We need to do it mm-hmm. this way, this way. Oh, that was you was wrong about that. And I'll be like, all right, cool. You know, it's several mm-hmm. times I told Styles, nah, don't put that on social media. When we see him, well, you know, when whenever, whenever it happens, we we see him, we see him. Mm-hmm. Don't talk about it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, you know, that's how we move. No doubt. Yeah. Is it true that Jada taught you how to rhyme? Yeah, man. Well, not he was rhyming first. Okay. He was rhyming first inspired in Riverdale. You. Yeah, inspired me, mm-hmm. definitely. Yeah. And um, because I wasn't rapping, I'm running around and um, you know. Dumb young and shit, and uh, playing tag and all that. He used to mm. have these raps and go up to Steve Toon's house in Riverdale, and he had the one record play and he'll do it. And I'm like, yeah, kiss, this is dope. Oh no, he was like, I forgot his name. He wasn't Jay to kiss then. He was like, I know if it's Lil J Ski, mm. he might have went to the ski on the end. You had to right. the ski, and I, I think the ski era. I became Sean Ski. That's how long <laughs> they've been doing it. <laughs> yeah, I was, yeah, I became Sean Ski. He was Jay Ski or something yeah. like that. And um and um and then I said, man, I gotta I gotta try this and uh, yeah. Word. He had, he had, he had, I told, I always tell, so he had like, he'll rap or snap on. He said, yo, so when I'm talking to you, you better give me your respect with your elephant ears and your chicken neck. And he was like snapping, I'll chase him around the place and shit. Yo, actually, he knows this shit is crazy. Yeah. And I, yeah, and I just, but he kept going with it. And then I, I was just tagging along with him and I got, I got good and better and better and better mm-hmm. as we went. Yeah. I want to shout out De La Soul because. Absolutely. People, uh, you've, I've heard you speak about De La Soul in particular. So, um, and people oh. cite them as a group that always stayed together. Yep. Three men never broke up. Right. Grew through the industry. Yeah. You never see no conflict. But I, I gotta say that the locks are up there with De La Soul. Absolutely. Why they don't give awards for stuff like that, man? Why they, they should. Don't, why they don't? Why they don't? <laughs> they don't right? have no they currency should. in this culture. You know what I'm saying? Nah, no, right? They should actually salute that man. And yeah. It's kind of like a blueprint of how to go. I mean, listen. I get you grow. You grow apart. But you, you don't got to get on social media and talk about your brother and this and that. Mm-hmm. It's ways to go about stuff and stay solid. Yeah. And, and one of the reasons is, you know, I, I ain't say it's because the camera's on. I'm proud of it. If you tell me Kiss won $100 million tomorrow, mm-hmm. I'm going to say I'm, I'm happy for him. If he, you, Styles got a new car, I'm happy. I'm happy for their kids. I'm happy for their families. They're, and that's just what it is with me. And, said, and vice versa. You said on that stupid question skit, which I can't stress enough for journalists interviewing a lot to go listen to that skit. First. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? But so. you say, because one of the questions is like, yo, when they got on Jenny in the block, how come you was like, yo, I had no plans to be a solo artist. Nah. Like, I'm just happy to see my brother shine. Facts. Because was... whatever the crew do, bring it all back to the crew. Facts. And, yeah. and, and, and I, you know, when they, when they was, when Styles and Kiss was serious about solo careers, 
and all that, I was still running around. Mm -hmm. And um, I remember Styles saying, yo, Sheik, you got you to gotta get in the studio, bro. Like, what are you doing? Mm -hmm. I even remember, like, going, I was in Manhattanville, or, you know, in Harlem, and, and then I was going back forth to Baltimore, and they, my homies would say, yo, Sheik, you can't, you, can't, you can't do this no more. I had cameos and total videos and all that at the time. You still on the streets. And I was like, yeah, and I was like, yeah, and, and listen, listen, whoever's this, I wasn't the the uh, the the whoever of Coke, no, none right. of that. Like I was, but I was I was doing whatever. Yeah. And uh, and I remember my brother saying, yo, you gotta get in the studio. I'm in, I'm in total uh, is it missing you or one of them videos and all? I'm shirt on with Versace with the puff lint me, <laughs> like yo, <laughs> one of his shirts or something. Like yo, like and they was like, yo, you can't do this no more. And that's what. Then I started taking it serious. So I was catching up to their greatness. It's funny you said Puff Let Yeah, I was there's Yo. a famous picture of uh, Soul Aquarians of all of us. Uh, Badu, D'Angelo, Quest Love, Jay Diller, rest in peace. And okay. Puff came down to that. Wow. And gave me some Sean John shit. I got some Sean John shit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, man. He got his fingers in every pie. Like, Facts. What he um, lent me a yellow Versace shirt I wore. <laughs> <laughs> if you go, it was a yellow Versace shirt. Like, it was his. I just kept it open. I don't know if I could button it or whatever, but like, yo, crazy. Now, Yonkers, y'all had heroes that we didn't know about yet, like Word. DMX. When y'all was running DMX. around in Warlocks, y'all looking up at, at DMX, he's like a superstar. Yeah, Yonkers, absolutely. Like. X. Tell me about that era. X, come on, man. X was like the first battle rapper to us. X was really robbing people and rapping about it later. Like, yo, man, <laughs> X was getting high yeah. and, and bugging out with this dog and having a dog rob you. And and, and I, I, I'm i not making this up, man. <laughs> yo, Luch, yo. And then we, we wound up, he told the uh, Rough Riders, about, well, DNY, about mm -hmm. us. And they became management, and X would like try to ask, can he keep the dog at my house? My mama come home with the dog in the living room, but the dog won't do nothing. I'm like, oh my God, what did I get myself into? But X was, yeah. X, yeah. rest in peace, so solid, man. Yes. Uh, but was really, really living that, that life. And um, we also had guys like Lord Devon, was like our first rock him that, like, I don't know if they ever spoke of him and like just dropping knowledge and, and this, uh, and all his bars and Bill Blast and a lot of guys out of Yonkers that, uh, we couldn't wait to get on, but I didn't know it would take it would go to that level. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, it's like they put the battery in y'all back. Absolutely. And made y'all go to new heights. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, of course, Mary, you know, it, you know, but yeah. 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 Now I asked Styles this, but I gotta ask you this. And y'all might have to redo this, you know, rest in What's peace on? to Black Rob. Yeah. Rest in peace to X. But if you had to do 24 hours of live today, right. how different would your verse be? Oh, incredible. It would be so deep. I would talk so much. Because, like, yo, you know, now you got now you got kids. Uh, now right, you, right, now right. you, you know, you, you seen women and chicks that you, like, man, I would have definitely did whatever. Like, you know what I yeah. mean? You know, it's crazy. Uh, uh, um, it would have been a very deep. Mm -hmm. Not enough bars. Yes. Not enough bars, right? We'd have had to spill it out. Word. Word. Tell me about the impact of Mary J. Blige in your life. Mary, Mary, so dope, man. I seen that the other night at the Grammys. Uh, mm -hmm. From Mary, it started with her, you know, I know a lot of people know the story, but it started with her mm -hmm. playing our mixtapes at all over her shows and like, the, like backstage driving around and like mm -hmm. in her, um, her Cherokee, her, her, her little cousin named J-Bop, Jamarco, mm -hmm. used to get her car and like play the tapes for her. And she was just loving us, man. And um, playing it to, playing it to Suge, playing it to Puff, playing it to Eddie F, playing it to, uh, um, is it Dave Mays? No, yeah. not Dave Mays. Not Dave Mays. Um, Dave. Uh, damn, I forgot. Yeah, but a lot of people. Mm -hmm. Um, and um, she was very influential, man. Bringing us all around to our shows and stuff like that. And we were young. Mm -hmm. We were young. I love Mary. That's well, the queen. Yeah, absolutely. That's the queen. Yeah, and when I see it, every time we see it, it's all yo guys like this and that. Yo, yeah. yo, she ain't, she ain't asked us for nothing. Mm -hmm. Never a nickel. I need I need this find this fee. I need nothing. Mary never wanted nothing from us. Word, yeah, right? Word. Like, yo, dog, like, never came back. Even when we started blowing up, never said, yo, but what happened to my money? Nah. Mm -hmm. Nah. That's beautiful. That's real. Mm -hmm. That's organic. Word. Um, and that was at the time when, when she definitely could have, because that money was different back then. Yeah. She could have said, yo, who else, yo, I need this amount. Yeah. Word. Mary, when I, you know, I got the record, I tried with her. No doubt. I was working with Interscope Records, and this was before that, let's get it, crunk, and yeah, 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 in yeah, the yeah. dancery. Uh -huh. But I remember, like, Jimmy Iovine at that time, he was focused on Maya. Mm. And I showed up with, I'm, you know, I'm coming from on the Beautiful Struggle album. Yeah. I had Faith Evans on that album yeah. and Mary J. Blige. Uh. So in my mind, I'm like, I'm the first rapper since Big to have both Faith and Mary Fire. on the album. This Fire. is how I'm coming. Right. And I'm right. coming in the Interscope office like, yo. Mm. And he, I remember, and I was, Jimmy, I hate to put you on a spot like this, but she was like, yo, Mary ain't hot right now. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like, you should put Maya on the record. 
Mm. Now, we all know how we feel about Maya. Right. Of course, Maya is the shit. Right. But it's Mary J. Blige. That's that Queen soul, of Hip Hop. That soul. Pain, that, that, yeah, That's exactly. where I come from. That's Absolutely. the foundation. So right. I remember being like, nah, I gotta keep Mary on this record. Right. And it was a whole thing. It's like, really? nah, we put we keep a Mary on this record. Mm. And then she dropped that crunk of phone or crunk of five, right, right. whatever that name Turned is. Turned up real quick. That's her biggest record of her career. Got you. So is it? That's her that, that's her most selling record. Out of all the classics she got. The one Dre did that. Yeah, right? the Dr. Yeah, 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 Dre, because right. it was in the clubs. Uh -huh. It was like a huge, you know, wow, single I didn't for know the that time. Was the, the, okay. she, maybe she had a bigger one since right, right. then, maybe. I would think it was like, I'm going down, and none of that was the I'm biggest. Right. I, I'm right. Right. I think I'm going down. I could be wrong, but we can check the numbers on that. Somebody, somebody <laughs> check the numbers. But I get it why you know in the club it would be that kind of. That was for of, us. I'm mm -hmm. just black R&B shit. Absolutely. But like that, right. that, if you remember that era, that's when like Gwen Stefani was fucking with Eve type era. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like it was like Dr. Dre production at that time was MTV, TRL. Mm -hmm. What well, Maya had though, she probably had that joint with, with Hov. Yeah, Best of Me. Yeah. Yeah. Probably that. And then she was like, Kind of poppy, like you she know, was and looking younger. good, and yeah, right. It was a, oh, it was so the age thing. thing. Think about it. In gotcha. two thousand four, Mary debuted what? Two nineteen ninety two, ninety three, ninety one. When 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 was Pooh? But that was that was ninety one, right? Right. So now we in two thousand and four. Okay. She's so fifteen years in, a black woman. Right. And you know what I'm saying? Like, and they don't respect age in this business. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So they was looking at Maya, the young, hot, new thing. Right. Wow. That's the her That's biggest crazy. Record. Number one. Though you like a genius with this shit, man. You be knowing. <laughs> I be looking at your interviews and shit, dog. He's like, <laughs> you know, it's crazy. I love it. Yo, dog. You know, I feel like with, with um Black Thought. Uh huh. God yeah. God damn. Like, how you know all this shit? How you remember these songs, dog? Yo, Black Thought is wild. But uh, Black Thought, you know, Quest Love told me that Black Thought has a twenty song clip. Like he could he could keep twenty whatever dog, twenty that he that. know he gonna do on stage. But he but he could do everybody verse on the song. Hell yeah, dog. You know what what Everybody's saying? verse. Daddy came verse. He came to the studio one night with Styles and just kept rapping and rapping and his freestyles that he had was like, like, mad long. Like, how you know yeah. all this? Yeah. We drinking and shit. Like, yo, how you even, like, how you... Think about if you Black Thought, though. You the best rapper in the Facts. world, right? And you in the roots, but if you a team player, you not trying to be the... You trying to be, it's about the collective. Mm. You Black Thought from the roots for your whole career. You like, nah, it's not about me. It's about the band. Wow. Then you go from that to Jimmy Fallon. Wow. To as you and Jimmy Fallon, now you a part of Late Night. Mm. Which now you feed in your family, right? Gotcha. Now I get Absolutely. why the Roots did that because like they did two hundred fifty sh shows a year. Absolutely. Now I get to chill in New Jersey, try to work, yeah, rap when I feel like yeah, it, yeah, yeah, and yeah. bills is paid, right? You know what I'm saying? Right. Which no, is for so touring, it's so dope. So dope. But but so selfless, niggas don't man. know that niggas yeah. is, niggas don't know that you so. That's what that funk master Flex freestyle was about. Dog. Cause Flex ain't know either, bro. I'ma say the the the, the yeah, yeah, nah, he didn't know. He didn't know. He didn't know yet. He nah, called me he and told know. me. That's how I know. Oh, really? He was like, really? yo, I didn't know. He get busy. Yeah. He bodied that and it's, you know, insane. Yes. Shout out. Shout out Black Thought. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, shout out Notorious B.I.G. No doubt. You had the honor and privilege of spending a lot of time with mm. you rhyme in one of your songs, your opinion didn't matter, says Big Hermy Rhyme. Word, word. I felt that when you said yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> you know what I'm yeah. Like, like that's what crazy, you talking right? about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I rhyme for big, big fuck with my shit. Uh, I just, I just love when big used to come to like, we'll, we'll be at the station. Mm -hmm. Yo, shit, you rapping? Hey, Y'all rapping? All right, then I'm gonna rap too. Like it was mm. like that with him. Or when we did the uh, Can I Live to the Last Day, and he pull up to one of our shows just to let us hear our lyrics, how it had a song came out. Or him just coming to our um, when that's we, an inspirational uh, motivation. Come on, song. man, like yeah. yeah, and pulling up to like our parties and like just to chill with us. The love he showed us, he didn't have to do. And the love, and I'm also his crew, the love they showed us, they didn't have to do. Because we some new guys coming in. You don't know our motive. You don't know if we're going to, you know what I mean? But they mm. embraced us. No really. doubt. Yeah. Um, you've told a story about how you was with Big right before he got yeah, killed, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We was in a, uh, the Vibe party. Mm -hmm. And um, for some reason, um, I think Kiss and um, Puff was having a uh, conversation about mm -hmm. a verse or whatever. And, you know, they was arguing. Big was like, yo, chill out, chill out. Giving us the bottles, the drink and shit. Mm -hmm. We chilling. So we was about to go to uh, Clue's house. Mm -hmm. um, Clue had a party somewhere up the hill somewhere in the, in the, in the hills. And I, we was going to get in his van with him. We was going to get in his, his car. He was like, nah, mm -hmm. nah, I'll just meet you there. Don't get in that. And then it was like, nah, just come over here and get in this and we'll, we'll meet them there. We got up there and, um, and, um, and that's when everybody was like acting weird up there. When we finally got to the party, I'm like, what's going on? And then they told us. Mm -hmm. And then that's when we all rushed to the hospital. I remember seeing his hat on the floor somehow. Like, yeah, I wish I would have grabbed that hat. Mm -hmm. You know, I'd, I definitely would have gave it to his mom and all that, yeah. but I, I seen it on the floor. I'm like, oh, you know, and, and all that mm. unwound that day. And I remember us and Mace and all of us went back to the hotel like, yo, what the hell is like up? And they Puff put us on the flight like immediately that, that night. Mm. 
out of there. Yeah, that was crazy. Rest Never experienced nothing like that. My mom's everybody was calling like, yo, you guys okay? It was spreading. Yeah. Very fast. So no the morning, social was, media either. Yeah, no, no social media. So I don't know how. It was just getting around quick. Yeah, we formed our own social media back then. Yeah, facts. Um, now, speaking of Clue, shout out to DJ Clue. No doubt. DJ Clue, people forget how influential Desert Storm and all those mixtapes was and yeah. what he was doing. And of course, he he was standing on his shoulders of mixtape DJs that came before him. Yeah. But with the with him and Ken Duro and the way that they set their shit up right. and all their shit out. Yeah, Clue was, was so dope. Very, very influential to us. Like, his his joints was like the Bible. Mm -hmm. His was albums at the time. Like, even though they were mixtapes, mm -hmm. but like, you know, you had to, people was fighting for song number one. Yeah. Or like, you had to be like in that top right there and all that. I heard people... I seen a conversation with um, I think it was Jim or somebody. They were talking about who started mixtapes, and I, they left out Clue, like you know, they and said, all these kind of Ron G and and Doo Wop. Yeah, they. I saw Bounce that. Squad I saw and... that they were talking about how they 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 how Dipset started the artist based mixtape. Uh -huh. But they talk about with nah, it. Nah, nah, nah. <laughs> you wrong, homie. Nah, you wrong on that. We, we and then a lot of a lot of the comments were like locks and this and that. But I'm even taking it. Yeah, it you know was, what's crazy it was, about you saying because I'm wa I'm watching the same interview. Yeah, and I, I wasn't like that about that. that. No, not about that part because okay. I'm you know I'm, I I wasn't I don't know the the knowledge of you know I, I'll go back to like Duop and Tony Touch and Absolutely. all that Ron, all that. But where where I was like, nah, you wrong, homie. When 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 Jewels and them was like, now we was the first one to wear Supreme. I'm like, nah, us underground niggas was, uh, this was with the skateboarding <laughs> niggas before you, Supreme, you yeah, uptown yeah. niggas saw that right, shit. Right, right, right. <laughs> with me, I was like, nah. What about? The Bounce Squad, I mean, oh, Snagglepuss yeah, and like, Firehead and all, them, and all them kind Snagglepuss of guys. Snagglepuss even. Yeah, 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 yeah. Come on now. So those was like the mixtapes that I was hearing. Like, yo, Firehead and Firestar or whatever. Like, it was crazy. Yeah. It, it was insane. So, you know, but maybe they, I'm a little older, so maybe they don't remember all that, you know? Yeah. Because in my brain, uh, Fuji's first album kind of flopped. It was that Bounce Squad run. It was Unique and Lauren. Mm. Their movement was so on fire for those couple years they was on fire. That's yeah. what it was. So it's, I, I could see why they would think, we started everything. Right, you know right, right, like, right, right. The way that Dips has moved for a couple of years, it's yeah, like, nah, yeah, we started yeah, all that. Yeah, absolutely. We the first one to wear skull belts. <laughs> <laughs> they might have said that too. Like, yeah, <laughs> right, right, right. right. Now, these mixtapes, yeah. the song All About the Benjamins was first on a Clue mixtape. Yeah. It went from a Clue mixtape to being a movie. Super Mario did that. There's a you guy named it? Super Mario that leaked it. Yeah, Super Mario leaked it. He took it and leaked the joint on, on purpose. Like, man, I'm letting that out. Mm -hmm. You wasn't even supposed to do that kind of shit mm -hmm. back then. And um, that song just spread. I told, I said before in the interviews, I didn't even like the record when he played us the track. Yeah, I heard that. Yeah, I didn't like it. I, yeah, yeah. You say story. that in that song, what else you need to know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah like he, he played it. I told you the story, like, uh, when I walked in and, um, and, uh, it was him and Missy in the room, and he was like, yo, as soon as we got there, he's like, yo, listen to this. We hear it. We're like, ding, 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 ding. I'm like, whatever. Like, you know right, what I mean? Right, right. And uh, Missy's there. Like, she, we didn't even know she was Missy. She dancing and doing the right. beatbox and stuff like that. She said, let me hear something. I said, uh, strictly trying to cop those colossal size. But she asked everybody to rap. Asked everybody to rap. And she was like, yo, y'all going to write Puff verse? We're going to keep this verse and that verse. And like, she kind of put she the whole song She did that. She put the she song together. Him. I told the story, but like Super she, producer, Missy Absolutely, Ellie. Missy. And then she was beatboxing and started mm -hmm. dancing. I'm like, yo, who is this telling us? That's visionary right there. Yeah. She and saw the future. She had the he, he, how join out with um, um, Gina um, Thompson, Thompson, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And was telling us, this is how the song's going to go. You're going to write his verse. We're going to keep that strictly trying to cop those, this and that. And we're going to keep that. That's the Benjamin. I'm going to tell you why and she said that. And he ran with it. Those, first of all, you are definitely underrated as a absolutely. MC. No that, doubt. That Absol verse, absolutely. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Absolutely, man. Absolutely. That verse oh. is a legendary yeah. verse. That Word. verse is like some Paulo Coelho, yeah. Tony Roberts, yeah. like yes. Oprah level. That song rock for two years straight. Dog. Yes. But, but I like, think in the clubs, like yeah, in the clubs, yeah. yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. That, but it's not, it's it's the beat. The beat is crazy. And 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 you know what Jada and Diddy put together is crazy. Right. Like it's like you know what I'm saying like Rio de Janeiro. Yeah, de Janeiro yeah. is not a place. You know what I'm saying. <laughs> Like, I, I, niggas is buying Colossal dogs, size Picasso ain't even a... Dude, I just... It made no, sense. But this is what I'm talking about. Like, <laughs> yeah. you made niggas want to buy art. Yo. Ooh, way before I started Art oh, Basel. Oh, way I started Art oh. Basel, baby. Way before <laughs> I wanted... I was like, yo, I, yo. I want it... Because you can't... You can't see... You can't envision it if you've never seen it. Right. I never thought about... Like, could, could I... Could I cost Picasso? Exactly. Yo. <laughs> I could go to Aspen. Not no, even Aspen. Shit. The yeah. Aspens. Yo, all the, on, ass, all the ass. Right. <laughs> <laughs> that, because that's, that's what, how you know we was just rapping. Like, yo, there, say that. Nowhere. 
Niggas ain't that. been been to the Rio de Janeiro, oh, Aspen. That's funny. You said, yo, a, a gondoliers in Italy. Like I never been to these places. Yeah. I've been to all these places. Yeah. Now. And whenever and the Chevy I'm in Italy, Nova and all this, what? What? I'm in Italy. I'm like, the, yo, she she told us how to do this. That's yo. crazy. You know the blueprint. The bar. He said, standing there with the flow like a man in a gondolier. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I say yeah, that yeah. in a bar, and I get that from you. Right, I, right, I right, right, right. The it's gondolier. from the Benjamin. That's crazy. Yeah, man, that verse is like makes you want to get up, get out, yeah. and get some. It, yo, it still rocks when we do it at the shows too, though. It's yeah. crazy. As soon as that joint come on, they, the crowd go crazy. Yeah, I love it. It's dope. Great verse. Yeah. Um, Thank you. Money, Power, Respect is a great album. Yeah. Um, y'all had Street Dude sound like twenty five years. We made, the, yes, yeah, twenty five years of Money, Power, Respect right now. Yep. Yeah. Shout out to uh, yeah. Lil Kim. No doubt. Um, the Free the Locks campaign. Yeah. Changed the game. Mm -hmm. We was revolutionists back then. Mm -hmm. Come on, man. Yeah, the chair, definitely. And all the, the frit, like, talking about dropping refrigerators off. Shout out to Puff. Puff, I love you, brother. You know what I mean? But we was... Uh, I know. Yeah. It actually, that was real deal in, 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 a, in a meeting. Um, mm -hmm. This wasn't going right. And, like, uh, and just going at each other back and forth in that meeting. D and Y set it up. We in Daddy's house. And I just got fed up, man. And threw the chair and all that. And Puff caught it, threw it out the way. It was real. The meeting kept going. But yeah, as far as the whole Let the Lasco campaign, you know, you know the story, man. We just mm -hmm. figured, I ain't got no money to fight him in court. I can't, we don't have no money to fight him in court. We don't got no money to uh, do like half of the stuff with Diddy. He'll drown you and you'll never see him. We figured we'll go to the people and let them yell it, you know, get at him. Puff is one of those guys at, at the time, at the time Diddy, he don't like that kind of uh, exposure. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like, yo, that you're doing wrong. Yeah. So, or, or right, or have, you know, perceived as that. And uh, yeah, so that's the way we went. I recently listened to that argument on Angie Martinez. You did? Yes, I did. Oh, man. Um, it, cause I, I, you know I, they set I, me up? What you mean? Man, I had a brand new album out at the time. <laughs> they come in there talking about, yo, we gonna talk about this and that with Puff. I'm like, yo, what about, I, I thought what he was coming up here this? to what promote little song. <laughs> Dog, they, they, they didn't talk about my song or not single not once. <laughs> Angie was like, ah. Oh, bendito. Like, like yo, yo <laughs> Angie, so sad. shout out Dude. to Angie. Angie, Angie sat back. And let the ratings pile yeah, up. Yeah, man. <laughs> yo, what about my song? Like, yo, the, nothing. I'm sitting there. If you watched it, you see. I do that. I go back. I, I, this is something I do, and I encourage hip-hop fans to do this. I go back, and for, okay, for a little older, a little older, because we from the 70s. No doubt. I go back and listen to Hal Jackson Sunday mm. mornings. Mm. Go back and listen to old Hal That's Jackson. Fire. But I also go back and listen to fire. old, old hip-hop arguments on the radio. Yeah. Like, I'll go back and listen to Nas on Flex when still mad it dropped. Right. And just see the energy right, when right, niggas right, was right. on and see yeah. how we've all grown. Right. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely. But it's like, yeah. when you say Puff don't like the exposure because I think y'all did the right thing. Mm -hmm. But I think he was also doing the right thing in the things he was saying on the radio in that argument. Absolutely. He was like, look, hey, 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 what's all this talk on the radio? Right, right. Come, right. Come yeah, office, yeah, yeah. Come, come to the office, and, we talk, and we're, we get and it right. And we're kissing them and saying like, yo, we, we don't have the resources. Yeah. They're saying it in their angry yeah, own yeah, way. Yeah, absolutely. We can't get at you in the office. Right. We have to take it to the people. Right. Which is what we're doing right now. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And he wasn't really with that that way. Yeah, he didn't like you know that. what I mean? Yeah. He ain't yeah, no sucker. Puff ain't no say. He was like, yo, man, y'all ain't gonna do nothing to me. I'm telling y'all right now. He's on that. He on yeah. it. Shout no, out I, to Puff. I've Whatever. seen you seen the footage of Puff dressed like the Joker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah, the dude yeah. tried to step to him. Was that real? Was, 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 was that real? That's real. It seemed like a little bit. The guy, so what? The that um, he's an actor. Mm -hmm. He's in um the um power, one of them, one of them shows, yeah, right? Power. Did he didn't did he know it was Puff? I don't think he did. I don't think he didn't know. Right. So why you just didn't apologize later? Like, I ain't my bad. I ain't know that was you, God. We might have seen that later, but you know, the he internet did? only show. I don't know. I don't know you if you know it was Puff. I think everybody knows. Oh, word? Mentioned. Word. After he screamed out, I was telling him, I'm, I'm love. I'm love. Yeah. Right. He told him, I'm and love. That is, and that is Puff's name. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> As the Joker dressed up. I what was, was like, that? He was saucy? I don't know. I think he was in character. You know, he no, made character. No, not Puff. I'm talking about the. <laughs> no, no, no. Who are you talking about? Not Puff. I'm talking about. <laughs> Oh, the actor, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, maybe. Oh, oh, he was in character. You can't fight Diddy, man. Don't, don't do that. And we got to protect Diddy. Yeah. You can't, you can't, but that he act like he wanted to. The, the, the goons around let you know, don't touch him. Oh, word? I got I to gotta look at it again. I got to check it. It was just close enough right. to reach. Right. Got right. you. Okay. Word. Now, the campaign works. Y'all are able to come to some sort of agreement yeah. and move a rough rider. I heard Kiss recently say, though, that you know, lawyer, the lawyer told y'all not to sign a Rough Rider deal as well. He might know some other inside stuff. Okay. I know when, when, um... I think he said something about his family lawyer. Probably his dad. Yeah, and the, yeah I think I've seen that too. Yeah. yeah. The, the interview with uh, his father, they were promoting the coffee. The coffee, maybe yeah. that. He yeah. said, 
I told him not to sign. Yeah. He just turned around and said, where was your wife when you said Yeah, yeah, yeah. I seen a clip of that. <laughs> I seen it. Shout out to Mr. Phillips. Uh, uh, well, these guys, D and Y was like street guys to us. Mm -hmm. uh, that barely knew about the music industry as well. Like, you know, and then they, mm -hmm. they was our managers. And then came upon a situation with DMX and the Lots mm -hmm. and even all these artists. And that's how that took place. It was timing for that. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? But they didn't know as much as Clive and all these people. You mm -hmm. know? Yeah. And yeah. they started Rough Riders and Rough Riders is just took off. We went from Massive. like Chicago Bulls to another Chicago. We went from like good yeah. teams to good teams. Yeah, exactly. Rough Riders is a massive movement. Absolutely. Um, we Are The Streets was a great project. Shout yeah. out to Swiss Beats. No doubt. Um, on it's Bring crazy. It On, you yeah. sound absolutely giddy yeah. at the idea of someone wanting war with you. On oh, Bring It On. Yeah, you Man. sound like, like, you want war? Awesome. Oh, 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 yeah, 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 Don't yeah. Don't tell yeah, me yeah, with yeah. a guitar. I, I was on it back then, man. I was on <laughs> no, it, I'm man. On war. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I know what you're talking about. I was on it. That was my whole language and all mm -hmm. that. Bring it to the chest. Whatever y'all want to do, whatever, whatever. Mm -hmm. Nah, man, I'm grown now. And uh, <laughs> those are good times. It is good times. It was good energy. It was great energy. And good wild energy. out, I still play that record when I DJ. Yeah. It still works. I really just play wild your out. verse on it and go to the next joint. I started out. I, I bring that energy to a lot of the songs that the Locks did. I, I agree. Would, I would I would I would start all them songs off. Right. And like, guys, this is the concept, but it's this this how we need to come at this. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like, yo, even like to like current stuff, like we did uh Terminator Locks and all that. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I stay with that big Glock. I put them in. This is how we gotta go with this this public enemy track. Like, you know what I mean? They, and they'll go like, oh, yeah. where's yeah, that? Yeah. That what's where's yeah. where's that gonna where's that gonna be at? That Terminator. Um, I put it on one of the beast modes, but like I don't know, like is it Beast Mode 5? Yeah, yeah, I put it on that. Yeah. Okay. But yeah, but uh That's a great song. Yeah, man. We rocked that joint. But you know, I I, I was like, yo, this is the track. Cardi the God produced it. And I was like, yo, this is how we gotta come at this mm -hmm. and come right in back at me. Boom, 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 boom. So I, I like to bring that kind of energy to it, to the group. You made uh Looney Tunes cartoons sound hard as fuck. Oh. Oh, boy, I said, <laughs> trying to learn the fundamentals is, yo, he yeah. goes, yo, dog, he's just, yo, come on, man. Like that rooster oh, in the chicken shit, yeah, I'm like, word. yo, he did teach him about the gun. I don't know if I was gun. high saying all this stuff, yo, because like, yo. he about the gun. I, I, yeah, yeah. Like, <laughs> rooster in the chicken hole, I can teach you about the gun. That's funny, dog. Like, Looney Tunes is hard as fuck. I didn't even notice. That's crazy. Somebody heard that verse and said, yeah, we got to get this off TV. Oh, like, what is she talking about? Like, yo, dog, it's crazy, <laughs> <laughs> Um, I asked Ghost one time, he said, I said, why you call it Kiwi Strawberry Mint? You know how he raps? Yeah. He said, nah, it just, I was high one time. I just, it made sense. Like, that's how I was going about certain shit. Wasn't no real, right. like, no science to it. I asked uh, Raekwon about that lyric. He said, yo, we was in a studio and just there would be a Kiwi Strawberry right. Snapple right facts. there. Facts. And I just do it and he just do it facts, in the park. Facts, dog. Facts. <laughs> oh, my God. Shout out to, I was talking, me and Donna was talking about Snapples the other day. Because I was like, yo, we used to, I used to drink... The peach iced tea snapples, yeah. cause we used to yeah. think they was better than sodas. They was lying to us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like, why we had to figure out on our own that soda and juice and iced tea and all that is the same. Yeah, yeah. Cause yeah, back then you used to think you Absolutely. was doing better for yourself by drinking a brisk iced tea. Yeah, it's the same I shit. I used to put the peach iced tea and the mango in our um E and J. Yeah, I don't know what they got to do anything right now, but like, yo, I used to put it in my E and J. Sounds all that. tasty. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Heard up. Word. Uh, now, I love hearing y'all talk about the battle with Rockefeller. Because yeah. it didn't get violent. Absolutely. And we can look back at these stories yeah. and reminisce and think about what people's mentalities was. Yeah. But consistently, because I watched a lot of interviews, you always say it's because they were so good at rapping was that they bars was hurting the our bars feelings. Bars is crazy, dog. They was like Philly. If you check all the Philly rappers, man, mm -hmm. like a lot of them, they really could rap rap. And like they, they the metaphors and all that. So that was kind of getting to us. Because we could set ourselves as rappers. Like we wasn't even that mad with, with G-Unit. Right. You get what I'm saying? Compared to them. To, to, to uh, right. Rockefeller. Like, when they was like, yo, uh, ask Mary Yonkers don't want no more drama because that was the name of her album. Right. I said, oh, man. That's a good one. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? Like, yo, that was a good one. Right. Damn. And I, yeah, so that's what it was. And Beans and them was thugging at the time. You know, they yep. was on it. They was beating up. Say we had, like, uh, like, Locks fans and Philly and all that, like, mm -hmm. with, you know, promoting our stuff. They'll drag the guy out the car. and uh, it was They was on it. Yeah. Yeah. Good but y'all had love in Philly. Good, no, absolutely. Yeah. Second home, yeah. Jada Kiss went there and made sure that oh god he got some love and feeling. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he was trying to yo, it's crazy. He said, "I'm sorry, they 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 threw everything, everything out." Of <laughs> yeah, facts. Word, what you got no to do? He tried it. He tried it. Yeah. Word. Now, y'all learned from fucking with Bad Boy and fucking mm. with Rough Riders that you gotta have your own. Yeah. So you start developing D Block. Absolutely. Um, yeah. And for the people who don't know, explain what D Block D Block represents we, in the jails first. Well, yeah, that's a unit in the jail. Mm -hmm. You know, certain certain unit that 
some of the guys are in. Mm -hmm. But for us, we we kind of made it like dedication, discipline, mm -hmm. determination. We kind of like styles flip that whole meaning of and like you know we just ran with that mm -hmm. and we we used it as like we wanted to put some artists out and like be doing a entrepreneurial like thing mm -hmm. you know and uh that was it yeah, yeah. it turns out y'all got more in common with diddy than you thought. absolutely <laughs> jesus you start Christ, trying to bro. put artists out and you're like yo we oh, tried shit. i tried man and, and it's very <laughs> difficult y'all whoever's watching this it's like man you kind of gotta like you know you gotta separate yourself from what i learned like if i was to tell anybody like I wouldn't be so much homeboys with everybody. Like, mm -hmm. so if you watch how Puff moves now, or, or anybody, right? Mm -hmm. It's a budget. You're a budget. You're like this and that. You're not getting involved with him and his family mm -hmm. or who he's dating or mm -hmm. none of that shit. I need the album delivered. Boom. Right. That's how I would go about it right now. You know what I mean? Before, we was more or less like, I'm coming to ride out for you. because It's family. Yeah, it's family. It's crew. Right, it's crew. That's, the street. Else ain't That's the street. That's the street way like that. to move. Right. Everybody else ain't yeah. moving like that. They, they, you know. Yeah. I learned. I yeah. learned they was on me. Yeah. Just me. Like, God damn, like your loot. Like, it wasn't even, it's well, you, all three of us, but they'll come at Sheik for everything. So. Well, you they, you put D Block on your back. Absolutely. Think, and you, yeah. you you took it upon yourself to, yeah. to try to do the, the business and the music. Yeah. And um, you know. But the first studio and all that yeah. when, they, when everybody was locked up and this and that, I was like, we're never gonna have to pay another dollar to another studio. We're gonna keep our budgets, we're gonna do everything. And that's mm -hmm. you know, that's how I was moving. No doubt. Man. The mighty, mighty D block. Yeah. Tell me about making that record. Cause you're for how many bars yeah, is on that? Too verse? long. Too long. I mean, every time technician wants us to do that, I'd be like, dog, I'm not. Let Kiss do it. Let Kiss do it. He go, dun, dun, dun. then he goes into the Tupac joint. Like, let him do it. No, only. this is how you do it. After yeah. after Kiss does his verse, it goes to the Tupac joint. You do your verse a cappella. Hell no. No, no, no. I don't do that. That's what you should do. Hell no. That's a hundred bars. I should. I yeah, should you should. It? Just like you know how long that is? It's a long, it's like 32 bars. Yeah, dog. I, yeah. yeah. That's Maybe a it's lot. 40. It's, it's a lot. It's a lot. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, how I was, that, and I was talking crazy. How did that, that record come together? I was real grimy back then. No, let tell the oh, women yeah. in your family that uh, I'm like, oh god. Now that I listen <laughs> to it, I'm like, you know, what I mean? you know, you know, the legs and shit. Like, yo, <laughs> tell the women in your family to do what? You can't even say that right now. <laughs> crazy. Yeah. Um. Uh. How did it come about? Mm. I, was it Greenland? Green Lantern, yeah. He Green did that Lantern. beat, right? Yeah, he did the track, and mm -hmm. I think Kiss was just chanting the heavy, where well, you know, his voice and all mm -hmm. that. And then it stuck. Green came back to us later saying, mm -hmm. yo, look how I pieced this together. And that's how that took place, yeah. You you know what? You had a question about the verses. It, it wasn't a question. It was more like an accolade. Because, you know, every we could all sit here and go, you're the most underrated rapper. No doubt. Right. But the garden showed us how much that's not really the truth. Yeah. You know, there's a lot of parts where the crowd stands up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But it was a part where uh, Jewel says, they don't got no songs for the yeah, yeah, Give yeah. them a medley. Word. Right. And they went through just a... We wasn't even gonna do good the, love in right. all those. What's good mm. love? Yeah, boy? crazy. I want y'all to be honest. Yeah, yeah, crazy. He said, to "Give me, the, give yeah." Us, you know, you know, shout out, <laughs> Joel's. Yo, he kind of was feeding into everything we wanted because we weren't gonna do no chick records at all, mm -hmm. and because you know we wanted to go Grammy at them. Um, everybody kept hitting us like Diddy kept saying, "Yo, dog, do all your your freestyles. Y'all can mm -hmm. kill him with those." Period. And um, and and then when he was saying, "Y'all don't even got no chick records," oh man. Went into the Marys, the good loves, right. and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, and she, what you gonna say? And then even when another time when he said, "What you? We need to hear from you." And I went into uh, Twenty Four Hours to Live, and it was like, yeah, he was kind of like, I don't know if they knew who they was going against. No, they didn't. They didn't. <laughs> well, let me tell you, I felt like y'all cheated yeah. a little bit. Let me tell why? you why. All right, um, I did the Seven Tour with Talib, so mm -hmm. I know that y'all all constantly tour as much as him. And right after the Seven Tour. Y'all did that locks right. tour with Griselda. Right. right, absolutely. So yep. I know yep. how much y'all out there, right? right? And I felt like they didn't understand how much technician is. That's oh, what it no. is. That's right. what it was. Sure, he was calling y'all locked up in. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Was, right, technician. Yeah. I, sp I spoke to Tech, and I'm going to say one thing. Mm -hmm. What he did for the verses, he mic'd the crowd. Right. Which was the first time the same, with the verses that they were doing the crowd, he mic'd the crowd. So then it gave another element mm. to the verses. Mm. So when you hear, when you hear, all you this hear is free verse, game. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you hear the crowd. Oh yeah, yeah, so got gotcha. you. With the punchlines from the freestyle, that, right? You feel like you did. Yeah, right. So it changed the it's whole. It's real verse. intimate now with that whole thing. Yeah, that's dope. That's yeah, now, dope. Change, Shout I, out to Tech. I gotta send send love to to Jada Kiss because yeah. I'm gonna tell you what I feel. Mm. Um, one, I feel as far as verses go, he's the MVP. No doubt. Uh, solo. Right. He killed. No doubt. True. Absolutely. He killed. Body. And then uh, Fat Joe did the joint. He came out at the end. By oh, yeah, yeah. The right. New York. Right. So right. even. He's been versus one. heavy. That's Mr. Versus. Yeah, yeah. And Mr. Versus. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think we should get drunk Jada and yeah. put him in the Jerry West shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. Absolutely. Sure. Ah, yeah, you, ever seen that, that. you ever seen that meme 
and says drunk and high, and it's Jada and Fab right, from they just, versus. Yo, it's crazy. <laughs> that's nah. the logo right there. You, you put that silhouette, yeah. you put the. Absolutely, the logo man. It. They didn't, you know, and then and people at the time, if you told my verse, they was like, they wanted them to be a group. They wanted them to behave like us, and that's not what they do. That's right. Dipset, you know what I mean? Like, they wanted, you know, we feed off each other, and I come in, and I know when he's stopping and we're gonna do this, then he'll go over there and talk to the crowd or whatever. That's, they're not a group, they're a crew. Mm -hmm. So that's, you know, it's a difference. Word. Yeah. Word. Yeah, but it's just being prepared and being professional. Y'all yeah. did that. Yeah. Um, after Taxes, again, I, that On the Road again, I, I can't get yeah. enough of that. So on the yeah. concept of it with the rewind, yeah, 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 you know what yeah. I'm saying? Yeah. And then you're talking to your moms. Right, absolutely. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, you were going very hard at 50 on this project. I know. You was in the, you was in the Silverback Gorilla Mon State. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Um, but Kiss Your Ass Goodbye, bro. Yeah. That record. Yeah. How that's did that record I, come together? Um, just get, That's when, like, Styles told me to get back in the studio. Uh-huh. And I just was on my coming fresh off the block. And like, mm. this was, yeah. Yeah, I think, oh, Red Spider. Shout out to Red, Red Spider. Spider. You yep. and him locked, locked yeah, in. Yeah, several times. Several times. Yeah, he did the yeah. uh, Good Love and all that. A bunch yeah. of stuff. I remember he called and told me, man, I made that joint, um, NYPD, LAP. Mm -hmm. I couldn't get in touch with you. I was trying to get you that beat, that joint for 50. Mm -hmm. He said, that was yours. He said, but nobody was answering over there for mm. you. And, you know, yeah. Yeah, Red Spider. That's, that's ill, too, because he yeah. was definitely serving... Everybody with absolutely the, with the with the fire. Yeah. Um. Good love. You mentioned good love, and yeah. I've heard you talk about how you didn't want to do girl records back then. Like you was yeah. almost like I'm hesitant to do girl records, but then you realized that those do well for you. Yeah. My man Groovy Lou was telling me to do that. Shout out to Groovy Lou. Groovy Lou. Yeah. No doubt. And he was just like, because you know, you know, I'm not gonna say out the group, but like out, the the girls used to like me out the group and all mm -hmm. that. You know what I mean? And uh, right. Donnie. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> and, I, and I was always fighting out just on some grimy, like whatever, right. man, with all that. We locks. And um, and between him and like Cosmic Kev. You and, said that on my record. Uh, you said, oh, that's it. Bitches say I'm cute. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that's what they say. Hey, I, that, that's Yo, what they say. I had to fight it. So, and then um, um, Cosmic Kev was like, Yo, man, this song needs Cosmic to go. Kev. This, I was playing it for him. I said, you sure I should put it out? He said, put that out. And that's how Good Love dropped. Yeah. But you know what else about Good Love? Because you have other girl records. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. I mean, Ride or Die, Bitch is, I mean, that, oh, that's, absolutely. Yep. that record will never go anywhere. That record, yeah. um, and that record speaks to a certain type of hood element. Absolutely. But, but um, yeah. and the production on it is, is super dope. No doubt. Um, but what's good about Good Love is the fact that it's sample-based, Yeah. it feels like a record that if you are an underground hip-hop fan that don't want to hear no Chick records, right? You can still get with that record. There's something it. about what Spider did with that beat. Yeah, that it doesn't matter that you're talking about women. Absolutely, it's just it just feels like yeah. classic or yeah, yeah. hip hop. Bass you know? was good, bottom was right, it was in yeah. pocket, like, and I kept it. Yeah, right there. That's it. That's a good Yo, record. Appreciate that, man. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. yeah, that's a great yeah. record, bro. I, I remember. I, that's the, yeah. I remember yeah, when right? that record it was, was simple, but like kind of straight through. Yeah, yeah. yeah. absolutely. When, no doubt. Yo, oh, yeah, yep, yep, yep. That's right. That's right. Yeah, he is. And, and, and I know y'all had a relationship. Yeah, no, nah, it's my brother, man. Lamont. Rest up. Yep. Lamont. Yep, yep. Lamont and, no and doubt. Mel, so, the whole crew. Um, yep. I always love y'all. Like, no doubt. I'll be around all the locks, whatever. Mm -hmm. like, mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes, indeed. Solid. Yes, indeed. Um, yeah, that Silverback Gorilla album. That's where Good yeah. Love is from. Um, no doubt. Another underrated record in your catalog is Don't Be Them. Don't Be Them, And yeah. I feel like that tells us everything That's when we need to know. I was kind of growing up a little bit. Yeah. Don't Be Them was like, man, you don't got to be... Him, don't be, don't be Fab, don't be Nori, don't be Jim, don't be them. Be, be right. yourself, kind of like, yeah, you know? Great lyrics. Yeah, don't be Jigga, don't be Nas, don't right. be Kim, don't, yeah. don't do them. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, man. Be yourself, it'll work, because that's the, you don't got to practice at that, being yourself, mm -hmm. you know? Man, we just, man, you say, you're <laughs> so giving me bars that I already had written down and gave me those bars already. Uh, um, you have mentioned a couple times working with Ghostface, and there's a lot of yeah. overlap with the Wu-Tang and, mm -hmm. and the Locks. And the Wu Block, that was supposed to be a, a whole like situation, but it ended up being you and Ghost, right? Yeah, yeah. How did it get down? That was to our baby, like same management, uh, Mike Caruso, and mm -hmm. um, just wanted to do a project. We kind of got the same energy, me and Ghostface, so on stage, mm -hmm. off stage, and uh, yeah, you know. And at first, like when we was doing it, we you know we had to explain the Riz and everybody like, yo, jump on this, this the plan, this and that. They was cool with it, but now mm -hmm. it's like everybody wants to be involved, and like it's a dope movement. We almost oh yeah, done it's a movement now. Yeah, we almost that done was the, the beginning. And I and I never been to so many places dealing with ghosts like touring. Like he tours like you guys, like mm -hmm. in all these places from three months in, I mean Whistler and all these. Oh, places. Yeah, BC. Yeah, yeah, like everywhere, Get that BC man. Bag. Like, yeah, he for real. So I've been all over the world with him and just building and chopping it up. Spoke to him on the way here. 
So, yeah, up. yeah, absolutely, man. It's my brother. Shout out to Ghost Dini. As, yeah, facts. Yeah. We've been Pretty Tony. So, you know, we've been performing um, here at the Blue Note with Bob James. Okay. And Bob James, of course, did Nautilus. Mm. And all those samples mm. come from Nautilus. So it's like, yeah, 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 we were, yeah. you know, that Daytona 500 is Terminology Nautilus. Terminology speaks about him a lot. Yeah, yes, yeah, so yeah, we've been right. up here singing, we are the G O D. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Got you, got you, got you. Yeah. Yeah, um, yeah. That song Crack Spot, that's a movie with Ray. Crack Spot story. Y'all should yeah. make like a movie about that. Should have, man. Yeah. We still, we might still you can't do still right? a little short film. I know, right? We still can shoot stuff still that's still older, like that paints an accurate picture. People don't get to see that life. That's true. That's, that's true. true. You know, Crack Spot stories and, and Ghost. I, what I love about him, he's real. Like, I was watching Martin and and this, and he tells with the remote control. Ghost really paints that. Yeah, yo, Martin's on. Yeah, yeah, yeah man. Um, right. Driving around with Dave East. That's such a beautiful record. No, who's is um, no? We had we had Dave, um, we had um um driving around is um Erica Badu is on that joint. Right. Okay. Yeah. Dri driving around. Was it um, Jiz no. Who, who's on that joint? Badu's on that joint. Badu. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. That's right. Hell yeah. That's how on the thing. Right, driving right. around. Yeah, yeah. But I think it was was it Master? No. No. It's Master Killer. Was it? It's Killer. Okay. On that. Got you. Master Killer on that. It's dope. Yeah. It's super dope record. Um yeah. After a few years, you come with this living off experience. Story is dope, the way that y'all set up the story. Mm. We're missing that type of conceptual storytelling the rap, so I'm glad that y'all did that. Absolutely. But the record I really like from that, I like all of them, but um, one that spoke to me, a line from The Miss You with T-Pain. Mm. He said, I was born in these streets. I'm just smart enough to move. Absolutely. Can you talk about... Very important. Yeah, it's very important. Very important. Talk right to now. us about growing up I mean, lyrically. Listen, like I told y'all before, man, like lyrically and like... Well, like I told you before, like me running around doing everything. I wasn't the Pablo Coke. I wasn't none of that. But I was running around doing silly stuff. And like, mm -hmm. I know when people say, yo, the hood love me, the hood, the hood. There's some, some people that love you and all that, but the hood going to forget about you fast, man. So you got to know when to move on and when to get somewhere safe. And I'm doing this strictly for my family. You know what I mean? And that's mm -hmm. this. I don't, right now, my man Mox say, I don't hang out. I ain't in front of the building no more. Mm hmm I'm 106 years old. I can't stand in front of the building. I can't stand in front of the building no more. I'm like, yo, yo, my homies be like, yo, the little niggas, they making it hot. They really not. We ain't supposed to be here with them. It's their turn to have shorties come over and maybe police chases or whatever, but we ain't supposed to be. We supposed to move and to school them on whatever's what's wrong mm -hmm. right, but we're not supposed to be there no more. And um, we supposed to be getting money and doing cool stuff at our age. That's right. And that's how I feel. And if you hear my lyrics right now, it all reflects that kind of talk. You know That's what right. I mean? Because they, they don't like... Yo, the streets, they love me, man. It's a couple of people that do. But other than that, they're going to move on quick. Uh, like I said to Ghost, y'all went from I will to I used to. Absolutely. In the lyrics. Every lyrical me is I used to. Yeah, it used to, yeah, be, yeah. It used to, be, it used to be, nah, I do this and Absolutely. I will do this to you. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. This is coming. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I used to... But it has to be if, that, if, you, if you're making change in your life, That's right? right? That's what I used to do, man. This is, what I, this is how I used to feel about this kind of situation. Mm -hmm. This is why I don't no more, you know? Change is God. Yeah, That's for real. Thing. Real. Octavia Butler said that. Mm. Um, before we get out of here, and your time is very valuable, so I, very you, val brother. valuable, yeah. so I appreciate you coming yeah. through. Tell us about um, Reservoir Dogs. Oh, how yeah. did that take place? That yeah, let's that talk about Reservoir. Dogs. Reservoir. Let me think. How did Reservoir take place? The bars on there, bro. That shit's crazy. Up, wow. And you know, so funny. I think you see now, everybody leaned in like this. Yeah, yeah. Everybody equally body that shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I work out to that record. I listen. No doubt. Every line and every. Yeah. Beanie came in yeah. town, quiet town. Because we went individual. Like, we, I may have laid mine's here and there. Styles went, took it home, came back, and, 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 and said what he said. I don't give a fuck. We like, right? Hov went, heard that, and came back at him. Like, you know what I mean? Like, oh, yeah, well, yeah, no, it was very competitive. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. Back then, you wanted to see, you wanted somebody to go first. You know what I mean? So you could, so you could go back and, like, rock that. Like, you know... You know, and also, like, you know, like, right now, I want to go first on everything. Yeah, I want to go first on everything because the DJ ain't going to play past, past a certain time right now. But you wanted to go last back then. You wanted to go last, though. So you can hear everybody and, like, you're going to... Whoever went last was supposed to bring it home. Right. Now, I want to go first on anything. You ain't going to play it past that first fucking... <laughs> <laughs> you know, you got to... You got to... Yo, Tyler, you, you got to change that record quick. I make records with one or two verses at this point. Absolutely. You know, if I'm... Yeah. Might as well tell you, so don't do them long 16s. Yeah. I mean, there's time and place for everything. Yeah. You know, if you're in album mode, but yeah, but if, you, if you're trying to get them. a record out to the masses, right. and you're trying to get people to pay attention to records. Really, it's their attention span. It's yeah. not as long anymore. They don't, yeah. they don't, they on to the next. But it was, um, uh, Reservoir was definitely separate and everybody pieced it together like that. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ramucci, you had a question about Blackout. Yeah. That, what was that? You got Kiss, Kiss told us that that was the most competitive session he'd been in. 
Damn, I don't remember yeah. that one. I, no? Yeah, nah. It didn't. Cause that's you. Kiss was in his head in that session. That's yeah, what it was. Yeah. He was like, I gotta that's kill these. Jay men. doing the lead off on that. Right. And then you, DMX is. On, I mean, that's. Yeah, 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 I know the song. I don't remember the session though. Yeah, Kiss is Kiss is crazy. But they their whole creative process is Kiss could be in there with a whole room full of people, everybody talking to him, all his homies, much love and shit. But and he'll be like this with his head down, and then get his verse mm. with all these people bothering him, like you know, not bothering him, but bothering mm. him. Me, I gotta be by myself. This guy, I catch y'all in a minute, and um, and I write, I still write on paper. Mm -hmm. Styles will look like he's sleep and go to sleep for hours and get up and do his verse. <laughs> you know, yo, Styles won't write nothing down at all, ever, and he's smoking and smoking. Yeah, and he's smoking. You mad high, but he get up with a 36 bar, like, how? Yo, it's crazy you say that, because Dave Chappelle was talking about talking to his wife, and he was saying, if you ever see me and it looks like I'm not doing anything at all, oh, yeah. that's when the work is happening. Mm. You write? You write down? or I or do. You, me too. I do write. Mm. I need to see it. I need to see it. Me too. Yeah. You read off paper or you memorize it then going? I write on my phone now. Gotcha. Notes on my phone. That's so hard for me. Yeah. I still do the yellow pad and, and balled it up yeah. and throw it out and the black and white, not the black and white notepad. I used to have the, yeah, the black oh, and white shit. composition. Come on now. Yeah, I used to have a composition. Yeah. You yeah. are hip hop, bro. Then I started, I started, when I got on yeah, it, yeah. I started buying like professional, like really nice looking journals from like Bars and Nobles. Okay, and shit. yeah. I had like really nice fancy journals. <laughs> yeah, that so that was very neat. In. Yeah, it's very neat. Yeah. Can you rip pages out of it? Yeah, like I did. I would rip pages out of that. Yeah, I had to go to school had the weekend at glance. I know that. I know that. So, yeah, weekend yeah, at glance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know that. <laughs> so, what's next for Sheik Mooch? Uh, um, I've been, lately I've been buying a lot of houses and uh and uh, properties and okay. stuff like that. And I got tenants all over the place. Oh, you mean musically? All right, I, I meant yeah. for Sheik Mooch. <laughs> yeah. That's you know, important for us to know. It's, it's important for us to know. Oh, absolutely. I got tenants all over the place. Yeah. But, um... You know, just setting myself up like that to where you give it to your kids when it's over. Mm -hmm. My kid is in college, um, you know, um, and just being a good dad, staying, continuing it. Uh, and musically, um, it's more beast modes, more albums, uh, documentary that the lot's got coming. Uh, yeah, and it's dope, man. It, it shows all that. Mm. I, I, I want to give you more info, but I just want to be finished first. The documentary. Yeah, Locks man, you're going to love it. Uh, it's with a dope. It's with somebody dope, too, that, that just recently bought the whole project. Okay. Yeah, so yeah, so it's a lot coming your way. Yeah. Beautiful. Yeah. People's Party is proud to have oh, Sheik. Oh, man, yeah. Let's go. Let's go, baby. No doubt. Man, I Thank love you, bro. I love you, too.